What's up, skate fam? Welcome to D's Skates. In this episode, we're gonna do a quick rundown of the always popular line skating move known as trucking. Before we get started, make sure you're smashing the like button. It helps more people see this tutorial, and the more people that see it, the more people will have to do this move with. This is technically considered a quad skating move, but I've seen people do it in inline skates and make it look good. So I say just have fun with it no matter what. I see this basic move everywhere I skate across the US and honestly I'm not sure where it originated, but I do know that I started skating in 1988 and ever since I can remember it was popular. So no doubt it predates my time and it's probably known by many names. In the 90s, I heard the move referred to as jam skating before the term encompassed an entire style like it does today. There's also technically no right or wrong way to do it. So after this tutorial, feel free to take the technique I apply here and run with it. Do your own thing. The cool thing about trucking is that it's a foundational move and it can be easily built on with other moves to create a fun rhythm freestyle experience. But today, we're just going to focus on the basic move itself. Two prerequisites for this move are, one, you need to be pretty comfortable with the move known as lemon or watermelon. This will help you become more effective at pushing your feet in and out while they both stay on the ground. And two, you have to be able to comfortably do a crossover when turning. It's just part of it. The technique in this move is actually very simple. You're going to start out rolling forward with both feet side by side, about shoulder width apart. Then slide one foot behind the other. Keep the front foot flat, all four wheels down, and come up onto the toe with the foot that goes behind. Make sure that the flat foot is carrying the majority of the weight here, and also note that when I slide the back foot behind the front, I have the front two wheels level on the ground. After you slide the first foot behind the other, place it back outside level to the front foot in the same position you began. Next, repeat the same motion on the other side, placing the opposite foot behind this time, and then bring it back out to the side. This is the basic concept behind trucking. However, since this move is usually done in a public rink environment, we have to assume that at some point you're going to be turning left since all roller rinks tend to move in a circular or oval counterclockwise direction. This means we have to cross over when we enter the turn. To begin the crossover part of the move, bring the right foot behind the left the same way you would while traveling straight. But this time, instead of setting the foot back out to the side, swing it all the way around from the back to the front and cross it over. From the crossed over position, pull the back leg out to the side, keeping the front wheels level, then repeat the process. Right foot behind, then around with a crossover, and bring the left foot out to the side. I see a lot of people slide the back foot inward on the corner of the inside front wheel. Like I said, there's technically no incorrect way to do this move, but keep in mind that you're likely to put unneeded wear on the inside of your wheels if you do it this way. And personally, I just think the move looks a lot smoother and cleaner if you have your wheels level when you do it. The move itself is simple once you practice and get a feel for it, but since this is a rhythm skating move, we always wanna do it with the beat of whatever music is playing. You'll want to make sure you're sliding one foot behind the other so that you reach the stopping point for that inward slide on the downbeat. What is the downbeat, you might ask? Without spending too much time in music theory, we can recognize the downbeats and upbeats by timing a count with the music. When you hear the main beat in a song, you can count to the rhythm. One, two, three, four. Then insert the word and into your count. One, and, two, and, three, and, four. The point where we're saying a number is the downbeat. The point where we say and is the upbeat. When trucking, the inward motion of sliding one foot behind the other will end on the downbeat. And then we will step out from that position so the feet end up side by side on the upbeat. Here I'll give you an on-screen example of the count timed with my movements so you can see exactly what I mean. Okay. 
And there you have it, the basic concept of trucking. Once you get the movement and proper rhythm down, you can use it as a foundational move and insert your own freestyle moves around it. The most important thing is to just have fun with it and also to make sure you've subscribed to this channel. I try to keep tutorials and other fun skating videos coming out pretty regularly, so you'll want to click the bell to get notifications every time I upload new content. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you feel like you learned something. Thanks for your support, and I will see you the next time I lace up.